Hey y'all, it is Heather with Jumping Spiders USA. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Jumping Spiders USA. You can also access the care guide at www.jumpingspidersusa.com. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Click the little um, bell so you get notifications for all future upcoming content. So what are we talking about today? We are going to talk about spiders and smells. It's a common question we get over in the group. So what is the general rule about smelly things in enclosures? Like if you're going to use like glue, um, like hot glue or silicone, um, aquarium silicone, uh, Mod Podge, just different things like that for enclosures. Um, the general rule is wait until it has completely dried and the smell is gone because, you know, to you, the smell might not be that much if you're like next to the enclosures or a few feet away or whatever. But like, imagine the entire room that you're in smells like aquarium silicone, like uncured aquarium silicone. And that's pretty intense. So just make sure that, you know, if you give it like the sniff test that, um, that you cannot smell it, that it has like completely cured, like whatever the directions say on it, a lot of those different things, it can be like between one and three days. And then, you know, maybe give it another day or two after that and make sure you can't uh, smell it and that it's not smelly anymore. Um, also other things in the air such as, um, essential oils and really, um, strong cleaners like Fabuloso, um, bleach. Um, I think I already said essential oils also. Um, why am I making this video? Because, you know, I'm sitting in my car uh, I haven't even gone in the house yet after work and I'm sitting here thinking about spiders and marijuana as one does. And so that's included, you know, um, marijuana, cigarette smoke, all of those kind of environmental smelly things. And ideally you should also keep those away from your spiders. Um, you know, yeah, like you have to clean, um, but maybe if you have to clean that room, use something like super gentle that doesn't have that kind of chemical-y smell. Or if that's what you do have, just like take your spiders out of that room and put them somewhere else for a while um, until the smell dissipates. Open windows, you know, all that good kind of stuff. We're not supposed to be breathing that kind of stuff in for long periods of time either. So it's extra not good for little teeny tiny cr cr um, creatures. So also there is an anecdotal evidence as like people in the groups a lot of times post that you know they smoke right like you know they smoke weed right next to their spiders and their spiders are fine and you know that's your prerogative I'm not judging but just as far as like smells and different things go it's probably best not to do it around your spiders um if the weed's not going to do it, like the fabuloso, the essential oils, whatever else can contribute to their untimely demise. So really the best call when it comes to jumping spiders and smelly things is just don't mix them, you know, put your spiders somewhere else for a little while or go smoke in a different room. Um, but yeah, general rule, let the smells dissipate. All right. I hope that's been helpful. I am rooting for y'all. Find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash group slash jumping spiders USA. And that care guide again is jumpingspidersusa.com. We'll see you there.